everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Angela and I am the owner of Angelic Creations. We are back with another Valentine's Day DIY video. Really quick and easy. Let's hop right into it with the materials. So what you're going to need is your monkey. I purchased this from Dollar Tree and I used this in a previous video. So if you haven't seen that video, I will link it in the description box below. You will need a pair of scissors. You will need your jar. I purchased mine from Dollar Tree. It came in a three pack. And you will also need a hot glue gun, okay? So the first thing that we're going to do is detach our head from our monkey's body using our fabric scissors, okay? So what I want to do is I want to find like the crease where they sew the monkey um, head and body together. So it should look something like this. This is what you want to cut off, okay? Okay, so off camera, I did notice that um, the jar would not fit properly inside of the body piece. So I did have to cut a slit. And I'm okay with that. Because sometimes when we're creating things, it's not going to go exactly as planned. But we tend to find ways to make it work. And this is one of those instances where we're going to make it work. Okay, so I'm going to place my candy jar inside of the body. So that you all can have a visual or how it looks. Okay, so as you can see, you can still see some of it hanging out, but we're not going to worry about that. Okay, so you're going to grab your head, and I didn't remove the stuffing from my head. I kept it inside. You can remove yours if you would like. But this is the number one reason as to why I decided to keep it going. Because as you can see, once I have placed my head on, you can't really see that gap. Okay, so we're going to keep it going. So the next step is to grab your glue gun. We're gonna, our lid is now removed. We can now apply our glue. I am using some hot glue. Okay. And I'm gonna do is just place a dab of glue a little bit and I'm gonna apply it to the head. Okay, just hold it for a few seconds. Okay, so it is attached. So now I can work my way around. Until my lid is completely attached to the bottom. Our top lid is on and I did make sure that none of the fur was over um, overlapping inside of the lid so that we don't have any problems when it's time to take our lid on and off. Okay, so just like we applied our top to the to the head of the monkey, we are now going to hot glue around here to attach our, dry, our, our jar to the body. And I'm going to start off with the slit that I made in the back first so I can make sure that that's covered. So I'm just going to apply a dab of glue here. And I'm going to attach it to the jar making sure that none of the fur is in the way and this is what I mean by making sure that none of the fur is in the way so when it's half us the turn okay so just keep going and applying your hot glue until you get all the way around So this is how we're looking so far. And now you can place your top on. Okay, like so. And this is how we're looking. Okay, and as you can see, you can't really see the slit in the back because I covered it all up. Now, my next issue is the arms. The arms is a little too long for me. So I'm deciding that I wanted to shorten it without cutting it. I decided to just like tuck it in the back of the body. And maybe like cross the fingers towards the chest like so. Something like this. I think this look a little better. So I gave it a little bit um, of, a, of a different look. But yeah, this look good. And then maybe I'll cross the feet and attach the feet. 
something like this. Okay, let's see how that works. And remember, it's all fun. We are crafting. Okay, so nothing is right and nothing is wrong. Have fun. Definitely have fun, okay? So, that's our first dab of glue. And I just placed it towards the back. And this is how much it shortened the arm by. And I think it, I like it. It's feasible. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing with the next arm. I'm just going to measure. Okay. All right, let's see how that looks. Okay, y'all. So I decided to keep it going and make it work. And I am starting to actually like it. Here's the back. Back to the front. So, yeah. So I crossed the hands like I said I was. And I also attached the feet together. And this is how it would look just sitting like on a table or somewhere. Like the office space or something. But, yes. So the final step, I did detach this bow, so I wanted to put it like on the side of the hair, the head. So I definitely gave this monkey a different look, but that's okay. I'm liking it. Didn't go as planned in the beginning, but in the end, it all worked out. Okay. So sometimes we just have to continue and see the thing through. See it through. It might work out. You might like it. Never know. Cute. I like it. <laughs> okay, guys. This is the end of this video. Let me know how you guys like it. Let me know if you will create your own version. It turned out really cute in the end. Again, I am glad that I continue to just work with it. So, let me know in the comment section if you have any questions. And do not forget to tune in to our next video. So, I will see you guys later. Bye.